Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the interview tips for fresher engineers. Okay, this why this video is important because I have seen there was so many comments in our my our Instagram account and in, in LinkedIn in in YouTube as well. Sir, please give us some tips about the how to crack the interview as a fresher and they have given the so many comments that sir i go for the interview but i did like but it doesn't crack i go for the interview but they do not select me i am able to go to the interview but after that i am not able to crack the interview sir what should i do so in this video we will discuss that how you can crack the interview as a fresher okay why you should watch this video because i have already 15 years of experience plus i have taken so many interviews i have also cracked so many interviews so this video is going to be a very very important for you if you are a fresher engineer then this video is a must for you to watch because you will learn something new from this video so let's start the video and my first point which i'll tell you is that please grab the basic concepts of your branch okay if you are like for example we are talking in this video about the chemical engineer process engineer petrochemical engineer okay chemical technology engineer so grab the basic concepts of the chemical petrochemical engineering what is the meaning of this it means that what are the core subjects of your chemical engineering like mt mass transfer heat transfer fluid mechanics thermodynamics cre right so if you will simply if you will grab the basic concepts of all these core subjects you are going to crack the interview right because only basic knowledge is required after that if you will go in an industry they will they will tell you how to do the work they will teach you they will give you the induction they will give you the training completely right then the most 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 important point is please make the double star and that is communication and presentation skills always must be on top why because you must know how to deliver you must know how to present okay if you are an engineer most probably you have to do the presentation you have to do the communication right and if you are better in the both then you are going to be select. Let's suppose if your basic concepts are not that much good, but your communication and presentation skills are very good, then most probably interviewer will hire you. I have seen that if my presentation skills and communication skills is like very good, then I most probably I'll hire that person. Okay. Be why? Because the basic concept you can learn. But if there is one person who already know how to communicate, how to present, he or she is going to be beneficial for me. Then make at least three subjects strong enough to crack any interview. Any interview means any interview, whether you are going for the ISRO, you are going for any PSU, any private company, DRDO, etc. Any organization, you will crack the interview, make three subjects strong enough strong enough means if someone ask you the cross question if someone go in deep in question to in question to question question to question question to question from the same topic you will be or you must be able to tackle the interview or tackle the questions right and make the topic that much strong and like one thing i will advise you if for example mass transfer is your favorite subject so in mass transfer there must be a one topic for example distillation like you must have the mastery in the distillation topic right like that you you should prepare the topics then the concept must be good enough to tackle the interview same point means if the interviewer wants to go in a deep you must go in a deep okay and in the last calculation and drawing part shall be add-on advantage what is the point of this it points that let's suppose if you know the like your concept is very good and you are uh, like you are telling someone about the heat exchanger then simply if you will write the formula of the heat exchanger right so it will be beneficial okay they will 
understand that you know the concept you know the basic concept if you will make the drawing if you will make the graph so it it is going to be a add on advantage for you to select right so that's how i think you can prepare for the interview and if you will work on these five point 99 percent you are going to select okay and then after that you will tell me that sir i worked on that five point and i am now i am selected okay so please work on these five topics you will definitely you are definitely going to be select and if there will be any other doubt please let me in the comments box i will definitely clear your doubt as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching keep learning thank you